We've reached the point of final statements, and the first one will be delivered by Congresswoman Custer. I want to thank you for sticking with us tonight. This has been a lot of information. This is a very important election, certainly the most important in my lifetime. I can tell you all about the things I've done for New Hampshire, the federal funds that I've brought from towns across the district, Bristol, Claremont, Keene, Swansea, Hudson, Franklin, the list goes on and on. I can tell you about the legislation that I've passed, and I can tell you about the work that we've done for constituents every single day, and I want to thank my team for that. But most importantly, I want to tell you about my values. I want to bring people together to work hard, to take care of you and your family. I care about your life. I care about the challenges you face. I know you want to hug your grandchildren and hug your grandparents. We all want this to end. And I am working hard to make sure that we follow the science, that we have a vaccine that you can rely on, you can feel safe about, and we can all get back to our lives before COVID and build back better. Mr. Negron, a minute for a closing statement. Thank you, Adam and Congresswoman Custer. Thank you again. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Steve. This isn't an election about policy. This isn't an election about big government versus small government. This is an election about who we are as a country. And it is clear to you and to me what we've seen across this country for the last year. We see this pandemonium in the streets of Seattle and Portland and Kenosha. And it's there because of the inability of the Democrat Party to work with this current administration. You've heard that Congresswoman has worked across the aisle. You know, she's part of the group that's actually been there, wanted to impeach this president even before the inauguration. We need to get back, but there's a time for a change. It's about building our future. We need a new start. We need a new vision. And I ask for your vote on November 3rd, and I ask for your prayers. Thank you, and God bless.